Good morning traders. So how do we trade the Dow Jones today? So first thing to notice is that yesterday we finished with a range bar. You can see how the tail, the top, tail, the bottom and the body were almost all this equidistant, so almost the same size. But that just gives you an indication that there was nobody really in control of the day. Although the, um, being read, the, the, uh, the bears did end the day uh, in control. Now, I just want to tie this up to the weekly. That's it. It's there. Okay, and come down here. Okay, so on the daily, um, when you when I say nobody was really in control, you can see it by the closing range breakout strategy as well. And if you'd only traded this yesterday, you would have really got burned quite badly. And, um, and it's, it's it's a good idea when you do take these trades that you just pay attention to price action. So. Let's just do a recap. I gave you a long entry um, pretty much as the video was released from this level here. And uh, what, we, what we said is, is long from here and uh, our stop loss below this tail. Okay. And it worked out pretty well. You can see how we rallied and it pretty much hit its target that it was aiming for. So that would have been your first target there. Your second target would have been the gap close. And then your third target would have been the top. So you can see how first we hit that target, okay? Now the important thing here is on the closing range breakout, you can see we didn't break below the closing range breakout here. We didn't break the upside, but we did break here. So this would have been an indication that we need to be short. So if you'd taken this trade here, um, your stop would have been triggered because if your stop was up here above the range height or above the previous high or even above the 50%, um, your stop would have been triggered. Then you've got to break to the upside of the range. So if you've taken that trade, your stop would have been triggered as well. And eventually this one worked out where we hit the breakout target. So there you are, all in all, a very, very difficult day to purely trade the closing range breakout. Okay. Now, what normally happens is when you do get a failure on the closing range to the upside, that is normally an indication that you are stuck in a range. So if we just move that away and you'll see top, top, top. Now I was expecting this as a inverse head and shoulders to play out. Obviously that's a failed pattern at the moment because we have now broken uh, below the bottom of this range. Okay. So that tail there would have been the bottom of the range. And you can see currently we are breaking below. And this is because China is getting a hiding of note this morning. Okay, and this is all trade war fears again. Okay, so. Just move that across. So we have a couple of options to trade today. So the first thing is we have already broken through the, um, the closing range breakout and we are heading to the first target at the moment. Okay. Now the thing is I am going to ignore that for now because we have broken through this range. That's the one way of looking at this. Okay. And the other way of looking at this is that this is not really a range, but it is a consolidation pattern, um, which is actually the wrong tool for this. Sorry, let's just get the equidistance channel. Um, so that was the first, you see there, there's the first three, four, five. This was just a little bit of a squirt above, which we we're expecting a break, break failed. So I have that level there, or alternatively, I have that level there. So if we just take the first tail, which is there, and we assume that this is a consolidation pattern to the downside at the moment. Okay. So in saying that, I am looking for areas to get long, and I'm looking at these levels here. Okay, so you can see, and there's one more level inside here. 
very close. So every tail tells a story. So you can see one, two, three, we've got four tails inside here. We have a weekly level um, at this area as well. So you can see we've got a weekly level here. We've got dailies. We've got uh, one hours. We've got um, 30 minutes. We've got a whole lot of uh, support levels here. Okay, so you can see this congestion here. So what I'll be looking for today is to see how these levels hold up price. You should see something happen like this, where you see indecision ranging, uh, trending slightly down, uh, and then eventually break to the upside. So this is kind of what I'm looking at at the moment. So if I take out that, let's take out that, take out that, Okay, uh, take this out. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing the oscillators grouping for downside. I'm seeing us in a channel. So ultimately for me right now, if you look at the past, there have been buyers that have stepped in on the bottom of this channel all along. And that's pretty much what I'm looking for. So I'm looking for buyers to step in at one of these levels. And I'm looking for us to uh, not necessarily go all the way back to the top of the channel, but definitely come back to the 20 moving average here. Okay, we could end up with a turn pretty much in this area. So you're going to need to watch the 12 and 30 minute charts to find a signal long. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm looking for right now is looking for the long and uh, taking profit pretty early because until we get a higher low, this is still trending down inside this channel. So the idea for me right now is just to trade the channel. So look for a decent long entry, trade the long. Um, it may be short lived, take profit, and then trade the short again. If you get a higher low, so in other words, price doesn't close at this level or lower, closes higher, then you have um, potential setup for a break of this channel to the upside. Okay. But until then, it's traded like a, a range. So we long from the bottom and we short from the top. And just keep looking left for your levels. Make sure that you know where your levels are. You can see here we are on a level. We've got our first uh, inside bar, but uh, we're still trending to the downside. Okay, so we're pretty much following China at the moment. So I'm going to wait for the Europe open to see what happens. Okay, so that kind of my take on this today is um, trade this channel, and uh, it'll be long from the bottom of the channel and short from the top or even from uh, moving average um, res resistance. Okay, um, hope that helped guys and uh, stay safe, enjoy the day and I'll catch you later. Goodbye.